Hello guys, our topic today is to implement Azure storage redundancy and in this video we will talk about the types of redundancy related to a storage account. We will make a demo on how to change redundancy for a storage account. After this video you will understand for each version of storage account what kind of redundancy you can use and option for migration. Okay, to build a high availability infrastructure and provide continuity to your business and for your clients, you need a good redundancy at all levels, from the hardware layer to the application layer. Well, this uh, high availability also is referred to Azure Storage Account, which um, provides redundancy at all levels between regions, hardware and uh, application layer. Now let me show you the types of redundancy for Azure storage account and the diagram for, for each type. First one is uh, locally redundant storage. This means that your data is replicated synchronously in three copies within a single facility in a single region. In other words, three disks on three different tracks in the same data center. As well, locally redundant storage protects your data against several hardware failures, but not against the failure of facility itself. Uh, the second one uh, is uh, zone redundant storage. On this configuration, your data is replicated synchronously, so that there are, there are three copies across uh, to our free facility in a single region region uh, zone redundant storage is more redundant than locally but uh, does not protect against failure that affect a wild region uh, zone redundant storage is only available for blob storage and when you create an azure virtual machine the VHD files are stored as page blob in the Azure storage account and this option may be interest to you. Okay, the next one is uh, the geo redundant storage uh, where your data is replicated asynchronously with free copies of data in the primary region. Basically, when you have a local redundancy and another free copies of the data stored in a secondary region. Asynchronously means that you don't have access to the secondary region if to read data or write. So if there is a failure in primary region, Azure storage will fail over to the secondary region and of course you probably won't feel this failover. To mention that um, GRS is the most uh, resilient of the replication schemes for the storage accounts. Um, the next one is uh, read access geo redundant. This type of redundancy is designed for high availability application using read access geo redundant storage. It's the same redundancy as GRS. Your data is replicated asynchronously across two regions, but uh, with read access GRS. Uh, these three copies in secondary region are enabled for read-only access to the data. Uh, in case if the primary region is unavailable, not at all the time. As well, we have two additional redundant options, like. Um, Geozone redundant storage, which is equivalent with uh, zone redundant storage plus geo redundant storage. Another one is uh, read access geo zone redundant storage, RAGZRS. So you have geo zone redundant storage plus read access geo zone redundant storage. Okay. Now we know all the options and please have a look at the next diagram that really will help you to understand when, when and if you can change the type of replication for your storage account 
because uh, in a day by day activity you may have a task to migrate or change the type of replication for your storage account and of course you should know which kind of replication to use because uh, we have the following situation if you have a premium account you have two options for data replication it is locally redundant storage and zone redundant storage you need to know that you will not be able to change the replication after the deployment of premium account you must be determined the kind of uh, replication and uh, choose it from the start otherwise you can only change it through data migration and of course this assume a lot of time and uh, data transfer uh, a more complex situation mm, okay it's not complex but with more option is a standard account for example storage version 2 where you have more flexibility with more option offered by Azure okay now I will make a demo uh, of how to change the redundant option for a standard account as well for a premium account and uh, I will use as usual a Visual Studio code you can use um, PowerShell our cloud shell for from the Azure portal so what action we are going to do here uh, we will create two our free kind of uh, storage accounts after that we will try to change uh, redundancy option uh, via CLI as well um, from the Azure portal first of all let me connect to my uh, Azure account okay uh, you have to remember that the redundancy parameter is um, SQ name because our topic today is about redundancy and the values that are accepted are all in uh, green text we have uh, four option for values for a standard account and um, and two for a premium account also we have a resource uh, group where our storage account will be deployed uh, a name of our storage account mm, the kind of account and here we have five options uh, storage, storage and version 2 blob storage block blob storage and uh, file storage the last one is uh, location parameter that is also very important to know because in some regions you will be not able to deploy a premium storage account with uh, zone redundant storage uh, we will have a look uh, to this aspect um, later now I will create a standard storage account with a locally redundant storage option and uh, later we will change the type via CLI as well in uh, the web portal okay now let me deploy the second um, storage account but this time uh, a premium version and the kind will be block uh, blob storage uh, why this kind? because this uh, has two versions of redundancy for the premium account cannot be changed after after deploy and uh, you will see this um, letter premium storage account Okay, let's create this one. Mm, 
now the deployment is done for buff account let me try to change the the replication for the standard account first we will change the replication uh, via CLI after that in the Azure portal to do this you should use set az storage account resource group name ok account name mm, the account name is this one name is enough Okay, and uh, in this case you should use type, you should change the type, you don't have to use SQ name when uh, you deploy it a new storage account. And the type, let's change it to read access geo redundant storage. Okay, as you can see, the SQ name changed from uh, standard locally redundant storage to read access geo redundant storage. So let's have a look to the Azure portal how to do this. The replication info can be found, so let me first standard, standard. SARS, this one. So the replication info can be found here in the uh, overview of your storage account. And uh, if you need to change the configuration, you should go in configuration and change it from here. So let's have a look at the premium account that has been created 5 minutes ago. As well the replication can be changed from configuration but you don't have uh, an active option to do this as I said before. Even we have a block blob storage account and uh, this kind of uh, account have uh, two has two option you should choose it from the start otherwise you will be not able to change it after the deployment okay now let's try to deploy a premium uh, a premium account from here from a web interface and let me choose from choose another location First of all, a resource group premium SA Let's see Europe. Okay, and location let's be default a premium account. Um, I will use the same uh, kind of um, storage account block blob storage uh, and I want to use zone redundant storage but Azure cannot offer you this kind of redundancy in some regions also consider this aspect um, very important when you want to deploy a premium account okay guys if you have additional question regarding the replication don't hesitate to to ask me in the next period i will try to do another video about how to migrate the data from one storage account to to another if you find um, this information for today useful please subscribe to upcoming videos and uh, see you next time bye